guys good evening good afternoon good morning depending where you're watching this video from and the time i'm gonna see this video welcome back to my page and welcome back to my channel i love you all one of the problem where i notice eh, where they for our country niger some of them now you and me they cause them to ourselves sometimes especially when it comes to the market price of some some goods or even all goods where we they sell for markets like you as a businessman as a businesswoman whether big business or small business now you and me they cause some problem where we they get for niger with the little experience where i don't get for this country where i did there are sometimes you will go to buy something in a supermarket that thing if you buy that in last week of 20 let me just use as an example 20 of that or 20 dirham here when you go back next week that thing can go up to 25 but the next week when you go back again it will come back again to 20 20 dirham again that's to show you that these people are selling their are, 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 are pasting their price or putting their price based on what the market is saying at, at any point in time but when you come to our own our businessmen and women they will be very eager very fast to adjust the price of their goods when go government has any change any change that will make the price to go up but when that change reverse that's supposed to make that price to come back to where the thing is supposed to be before they will not be fast and eager to bring it back again that's why some people will tell you say now only in nigeria where price of things when go up they know they go down again that means now you and me sometimes they give ourselves wahala for nigeria as this news came out today, when the time I saw this news, the first thing that came into my mind is that, are you sure that our businessmen men and women that, that are dealing in all these goods will even adjust their prices to come, come down to normal as CBN has lift ban on importation of some goods? Just sit tight, let's get to the nitty-gritty of this particular news so that you get the full gist. And I think this one is also a good news from this present government. They, you know, recently the president of Nigeria appointed a new CBN governor. And by the power vested on him, I think he has lifted, according to the news I'm getting now, and the news we are going to be sharing now, he has lifted the ban on importation of rice and other goods, other foodstuffs in the markets. And I think we should have a rethink on ourselves and also do the needful. If at all this is this will take effect we immediately. The Bank of Nigeria has finally lifted the foreign exchange restriction on several items. That learned that the ban affected importers of 43 items based on CBN directives eight years ago. The APES Bank, in a statement signed by Dr. Issa, the Director of Corporate Communication of the bank, said a significant change has been made in the foreign exchange market policy. Importers who were previously restricted from purchasing foreign exchange for 43 specific item as outlined in the 2015 circular reference as TED FEFPC slash GEN 01 slash 010 and its appendium are now allowed to participate in Nigeria foreign exchange market to buy foreign currency for their restriction. As of October 2021, the Central Bank of Nigeria CBN has restricted access to forest from FS markets for the following 43 items. Rice, cement, mari, pan canal, palm oil products and vegetable oil, meat and processed meat products and vegetable and processed vegetable products. 
and so on. So many art themes that was banned during that time. As the news gathered that the CBN is currently engaged in ongoing discussion with various stakeholders to find solutions and facilitate the clearance of these backlogs. A long-term goal of CBN, he added, is to establish a unified foreign exchange market by simplifying and streamlining the FX markets in Nigeria. The CBN, he stated, is in consultation with various market participants to work towards the achievement of this goal, which would lead to a more cohesive and efficient foreign exchange market in the country. In trying to maintain price stability within the country, Ab Abdul said the CBN periodically inject funds into a Nigerian foreign exchange market to enhance liquidity. As market conditions improve and become more stable, the frequency and scale of this intervention by the CBN, he said, will decrease over time. The statement read, the Central Bank of Nigeria CBN will continue to promote orderliness and professional conduct by all participants in the Nigeria foreign exchange market to ensure market force determine exchange rate on a willing buyer, willing seller principle. He said, the CBN reiterates that the prevailing foreign exchange FS rate should be referenced from platforms such as the CBN website, FMDQ, and other recognized or appointed trading system to promote price discovery, transparency, and credibility in FX rates. As part of its responsibility to ensure price stability, the CBN will boost liquidity liquidity in the Nigerian foreign exchange market by intervention from time to time. As market liquidity improves, the, this CBN intervention will gradually decrease, decrease, he added. Importers of all the 43 items previously restricted by the 2015 circular reference TED slash FEFPC slash GNG slash zero one slash one zero one and it appendium are now allowed to purchase foreign exchange in the Nigerian foreign exchange markets. The CBN is committed to accelerate efforts to clear the FS backlog with existing participants and will continue dialogue with stakeholders to address the issue. The CBN has set as one of its goals to attainment of a single FS market. Consultation is ongoing with market participants to achieve this goal. Participants and the general public are to be guided by the above instruction. I think they should put things in order. And we, the businessmen and businesswomen are there, should also do the needful. After, we will not be calling government, government, we know that our system now is not working. But if they put things to to help the poor masses there, like this particular news now, if this thing come to effective, let the price of things come down. Let people at the market, let our businessmen and women that are doing business also reduce the price of the goods they have. Because anytime they hear that the price, that government has made any changes that will affect the price to go up, Immediately, they will do it. But when it comes down, they will not do it. They will tell you that they, they have not finished selling the stock they have in, in, their, in their stores. Who do all this? As I watch the video to this end, try to share the video, like it, comment, and follow my page, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so. I remember my humble self, the Eichmann. We move regardless.